you guys. Uh, I was just going to do a video today um, on our conversion of our Suburban and how we were able to turn it from just a normal Suburban into a camper. And got a couple questions about it, so I wanted to go into detail on how it all works and how we made it. And uh, we also have a solar system in the car here so that we can have electricity for long road trips. We actually use this to uh, completely build our um, our off-grid home here in Alaska. Uh, we didn't use a generator. We actually don't even own a gas generator, and so we were able to, to power our all of our power tools and uh, do everything we need living-wise off of our solar system in here. So it gives you a lot of freedom having something like this, and um, I think it's something that could help a lot of people out there that are trying to do things on a budget. Okay, so we wanted to uh, when we made this conversion we wanted to still be able to use at least two seats back here so that we could drive friends and family around uh, whenever they come to visit so we wanted to keep these so um, what we did obviously these seats they fold down really nicely and um, in order to keep them we had to shorten the length of our bed a little bit but we we're still able to have a full length bed because <coughs> um, our of the way we did it. So you'll see under here we have these one by four pieces and I have four of these spaced out equally um, from here to the very back and the sheet of plywood I cut it at five foot seven inches and then I, I saved the rest of it like you can see here and put it on the top so I've got 29 inches of excess plywood from that four by eight sheet. Um, so I screwed the initial um, 5 foot 7 inch sheet into these um, 1 by 4 members right here that go along the length of this. And then by saving this sheet, I was able to at night when we extend this bed underneath our just normal blue foam camping mat, I can pull this, you see I can just pull this out to however long I want. And we still have a lot of excess right there so you can lay this down and then if you lay with your head from that end and then have your feet over here it can fit anyone who's up to probably about six foot three I would say com comfortably maybe a little bit more I'm six foot and I have tons and tons of room and Sarah's just fine in it too and uh, so that's how that works and so with the extended section of, of plywood that we have here we're able to we don't need to have any kind of leg that swings out and supports right here because we have less than half of the sheet of plywood or this remainder sheet this 29 inches over the edge of our actual platform underneath so when you're laying down your legs actually support it and keep it from wobbling or moving and so it's a really simple system. It, it won't break and it won't cost you any money that way. And then during the day, if we have friends with us, um, we, just, we just take this, this part and push it back in, just like that. And then you can fold these seats back up, just like that. And so you can have room for people to set in. So it's really handy for doing that. And then also here, you can see this is where we house our uh, solar system right here, at least the interior part of it, the charge controller, the battery bank. Right now we're charging a cell phone. You can see it's plugged in right there. And uh, if you're interested in that solar part of the video, uh, just check out the video. We'll have it linked in the description about how to make this and uh, what we did. Um, and then also too, obviously, since we have this bed in here, we took out the back row of seats and got rid of that. Uh, so we'll go around back and I'll show you a little bit more detail uh, what our storage is like. <clears throat> so you can see on the side here, we have these one by four pieces there, there, and then two up a little bit further. And that's what supports our four by eight piece of plywood right here. Okay. And so underneath we have about 18 inches of storage we just place those one by fours on this plastic support that runs the length on both sides and 
just having four pieces, one by four pieces is enough to support two people really well. And we don't have any problems with that. Lots of space in here. We don't have much in here right now. Usually we have a cooler and a camp stove and a few other things, but we're all moved in finally, so we don't need that anymore. So another thing we have are curtains right here and they just pull along this line and nothing too fancy. Sarah sewed these up and uh, we have them screwed in on the side. You can see right there, just screwed it straight into this soft ceiling material and those work out fine. <laughs> okay guys well thanks for watching and uh, if you want to learn more about how we put our solar system in the suburban please check out the link that we'll provide for you in the description and i uh, really appreciate you watching and if you have any questions please feel free to put them in the comments i really like answering them so uh, i will see you next video